Hello, today we're going to look at installing a Shelly 2.5 relay into a two switch configuration. At a very basic level, a Shelly relay is a Wi Fi controlled relay that you can install behind switches, outlets, various other devices, and that allows you to control those devices over your Wi Fi network or using various different home automation systems. Let's start by looking at some of the basic tools and other things that we'll need to complete this project. First and foremost, we will need a Shelly 2.5 relay. This will allow us to hook into two different switch circuits. We'll also need a set of wire strippers, flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers for removing the wall plate and the switches and other wiring inside of the wall box, some kind of electrical tester. I'm using a non-contact voltage tester. You will also need some electrical wire to jump between the relay switches and other parts of the circuit. I'm using 14 gauge wire here, but that may vary depending on your region and codes. And finally, some wire nuts to connect all your wiring. And it's nice to have a schematic on hand to reference while doing this project. I had a Shelly 1 schematic on hand while I was doing this, but here's a proper schematic for wiring the Shelly 2.5. Instead of talking through the schematic, let's just go ahead and jump right into it and I'll show you how to hook everything up as we go. Start by removing the wall plate around the switches. You can turn the breaker off before this step, however you'll see that I turned it off after so that I could demonstrate that the wires were live. Here I'm using my non-contact voltage tester to verify that the circuit is live. Find your breaker box and turn off the breaker for this circuit. I'm now going to verify that the circuit is off. As you can see, the non-contact voltage tester is no longer beeping. You can also do a visual check by flipping the light switches and verifying that the lights no longer turn on. Now that we've verified that our circuit is off, go ahead and remove the switches. With the switches out of the way, we can now identify our wires. Here's where our live wire comes in and connects to both of our switches. The live wire runs to one of our switches here with the output going to one light bulb. And we have the live going into the other switch and the output going to the other light bulb. Tucked in the back here, we have our cluster of neutral wires. Just for reference, this is what our circuit currently looks like. Jumping over to the table, we can go ahead and take one of our Shelly 2.5 relays out of the box. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and hook a jumper wire up to each of the ports here, except for the outputs, O1 and O2. Make your jumper wires long enough so that they're slack to hook everything up and push it back into the electrical box in the wall once we're finished. Once we've added all of our jumper wires, we should have all the slots filled except for O2 and O1. Let's now remove the wires that run from the switches to the lights in preparation for connecting to the output ports on the relay. As you can probably tell, I struggled a little bit with this one. Let's start by connecting the output that goes to the light bulb from the switch on the left to the O2 port on the Shelly. Next, we'll connect the output from the other switch to the O1 port on the Shelly. Next, we can connect the switch 2 wire from the relay to the switch. We will connect it to the same screw that was used by the wire that is now connected to O2 on the relay. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can do the same for the switch one wire coming from the relay to the other available screw on the other switch. Now that we have the switches and outputs wired up, we can connect the neutral from the relay to the cluster of neutrals in the wall box. And finally, we can take the two L wires from the relay and connect them to the cluster of live wires in the wall box. Just remember, we've turned off the breaker, so these aren't actually live right now. And that concludes the wiring of our Shelly 2.5 relay into our two gang switch configuration here. Before we close everything up, let's go ahead and turn on the breaker and just test that everything's working as we expect it to be. You can see from my non-contact voltage tester that this circuit is live, so be very careful not to touch any exposed wires. As can be seen here, the lights are working just fine with the manual switches. So we can now go ahead and close everything up. Remember to turn the breaker off before we start shoving things back into the wall box. This part should be pretty straightforward. Once we put this all back together and turn the breaker back on, we will be able to connect to the Shelly via Wi-Fi and set up everything for remote control. The rest of this video just shows me reinstalling the switches and the cover plate and finally turning the breaker back on. So with that, we've completed the installation of our Shelly 2.5 relay, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and most importantly, I hope you found it helpful.